Hey guys, for today's video, I'm going to be showing you this super dark rocker smoky eye. I'm calling it a rocker smoky eye because this is just what I think of when I think of like a rocker chick. So I love this look. This it's just such a sassy look to me. I just love it. I just love it. This is exactly the look that I had on in my What's in My Bag tag video, except I had a different lip on. I will post down below in the info section what I was wearing in that video specifically, but I changed it up just a little bit. Um, I don't really know why. No reason. You can really pair whatever lip you want with this. If you want to go all out, you could totally put this with like Rebel Lipstick from MAC. Whoo, that would look so good. So yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoy and let's go ahead and get into it. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm actually starting out with skincare, kind of random, but I never show my skincare and it really has played a really big role in my skin. If you watch any of my earlier videos, my skin was a hot mess express. So I just wanted to show you guys what I've been using. I do have a full in-depth morning and nighttime skincare routine. I will link those videos down below as well as in this video, but I've been using the Rodan and Fields Soothe, the whole skincare regimen in the morning. So I did the cleanser, step two, step three, and step four, which is the SPF. And then lately I've been using this eye cream. It's just a sample, but it comes in their redefine set. And <laughs> I could not open it for the life of me, but this is like an anti-aging one for wrinkles, dark circles, and all that jazz. So I've been loving it, and I just wanted to show you guys. Next, I'm using the Smashbox Primer Water, and I'm not sure about this stuff, guys, and plus, it stinks really, really bad. Next, I'm filling in my eyebrows. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Taupe Brow Wiz pencil, and then I'm going in with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I used way too much of this stuff, and I also go to great lengths to prime my eyelids. This is totally unnecessary. Right now I'm using Painterly Paint Pot from MAC, but yeah, you guys can totally skip out on some of these steps because I, I go a little overboard completely unnecessary, but I'm crazy. So I'm setting this whole area with the Anastasia Contour Kit using the Yellow Banana shade just to set it and working through my eyebrows. Next I'm using Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek on an E40 brush from Sigma and this is my favorite base transition shade. It's just very close to my skin tone and really helps to blend out any other eyeshadows that we use in the video. Next I'm going in with Makeup Geek Barcelona Beach. I'm using an E35 brush from Sigma to put this through the crease and it's a great cool toned brown which is really perfect for this look and it's really going to help blow out the eyes and make it really seamless. Next, I'm going in with this Sephora eyeshadow in the color Cashmere Coat number 50. This is a really great cool toned gray and on an E25 brush, I'm just going to put this into the crease as well as the outer and inner corners. We're kind of doing a spotlight eye today or a halo effect. So I'm just working this in those areas to help deepen them up from light to dark. Then go back in with Barcelona Beach and just blend that out at any time in this video feel free to go back in with any of your transition shades to help blend it out and that will make it look the most seamless next I'm going in with soft brown and on an e40 brush I'm just very 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 lightly touching this into the crease just to warm it up now I'm going in with typographic for Mac on that e25 brush and I'm also putting this into the outer and inner corner as well as in the lower part of that crease you don't want to take this up too high because this color is almost pitch black but it's still gray if that makes any sense but this is really going to help deepen up the look and help transition it from the lighter colors to the darker colors really nicely. This look does take a lot of steps and a lot of colors but I'm just showing you the steps you can take to make it look the most flawless. To deepen this up I'm taking Corrupt Eyeshadow from Makeup Geek. This is a super pitch black eyeshadow and on a pencil brush from MAC I'm just focusing this color mainly on the inner and outer corners of the eye. Try to leave the center of the eye blank but if you kind of go over it it's okay it's not that big of a deal but you just mainly want that color to be on the outer and the inner corner. Now we're going to blend this out. One of the biggest mistakes is holding your brush upwards. So if you put your brush downwards, it's going to help to blend out that black without bringing that black up too 
far. If you're constantly thinking about your brush facing downwards, it's really, really going to help to keep that black really focused and concentrated down in that crease. This color is a little unnecessary, but I had it in my collection and I really wanted to use it. This is the Sephora eyeshadow in Colorful Queen for a Day, number 56. It's a super like sparkly gunmetal black color. So I'm just kind of putting this right over the black that we just had on and it's going to help blend out the next color that we're going to use. This next color is from Dior and it's their Fusion Mono shadows and it's in the color Adventure. This is a cream to powder formula. So I'm just putting this on my finger because the warmth of my finger is actually going to help melt this product into the skin. So I'm just wiggling it right in the center and the ball of that eye and then lightly making it fade out to the outer edges. To intensify this even more, I'm taking Fix Plus from MAC on a 242 brush from MAC and I'm concentrating this right in the center to make it even more metallic and even more pigmented and more of that high shine. I love this color. I haven't used this in so long and I'm pretty sad that I haven't because it's beautiful. I'm highlighting my brow with Shroom eyeshadow from MAC on this E55 brush from Sigma. This is a really great neutral highlight color. And then I'm lining my eyes. I'm using the black gel liner from Inglot with this Sigma eyeliner brush and I'm just putting a thin line. I'm not doing a wing or anything like that. You guys know I'm in a phase of doing no winged liner. Next I'm applying my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and while that mascara dries I'm actually going to go in with my Tatcha cleansing oil. This is actually what I use to wash my face at night but it will also work to get rid of any fallout that we had on the skin and really make it nice and clean under there. Now I'm applying the Esquito Viola Lash with a thin layer of lash glue. I'm just applying these here with my Anastasia tweezers and now I'm taking this Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer. I'm using this right here in this area just to fill in any pores. Now I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I'm blending this in with a beauty blender sponge because I haven't done that in a while and I really like that it gives a more dewy appearance on the skin. I have a full in-depth review of this foundation. I will link it down below. <laughs> now I'm concealing and I'm also highlighting with my concealer. So I'm blending this in with my beauty blender sponge. That's another reason why I really like this sponge because you can use it to blend out your foundation as well as your concealer. Now I'm applying the Bobbi Brown foundation stick and almond. I probably could have used my beauty blender sponge for this as well but I'm just so used to using this brush from Crown that I always forget about it. I'll post my full highlighting and contouring video down below. Now I'm setting my whole face with the Mineralize Skin Finish Natural from MAC. I'm using the shade Medium Plus and I'm setting my under eye highlight with the MAC Pro Emphasize Shaping Powder and I'm using this highlighter brush from Sigma to do so. Now I'm bronzing. This is the Makeup Forever Pro Fusion Bronze in the color 35i. I'm using a Real Techniques brush to apply this. Now I'm applying this blush from Too Faced in the color Baby Love and I'm using the 168 brush from MAC to apply this. I forgot how much I loved this brush for blush. It just applies so nicely on the skin but this blush is perfect for this look because it's such a neutral color and it will help complement the whole eye look that we have going on. Now I'm using the Becca and Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop Highlighter. Duh, obviously. I am applying this to all of the high points of my face and I love using this Real Techniques brush to apply this. So cheekbones, center of the nose, Cupid's bow, all of that jazz. Now for the under eye area. I'm taking Typographic from MAC on this liner brush to tight line my lashes and Oh my gosh, I had the wateriest eye on that side. Um, so it kind of messed up my under eye area, but I blended it out with soft brown from MAC, but this eye looks janky. It was so messed up the entire time because it would not stop watering. Now I'm putting on mascara on the bottom lashes, and then I'm setting my entire face with the All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray from Urban Decay. For my lips, I'm using Flesh Pot from MAC. In my How Not to Apply Makeup, or makeup do's and don'ts video. I mentioned this on the don'ts side of makeup application, but I just wanted to show you guys how you can make it work. I didn't mean that that lipstick is like a no-no lipstick in the makeup industry. I meant that the lipstick looks 
terrible by itself if you are too tan for it. So here I'm putting edge to edge lip liner over the top with Pure Hollywood Liquid Lipstick from Anastasia and it turns out to be this beautiful pinky nude color and it can totally work as long as you put it on the right way. And now that I've applied my lipstick, the look is now complete. Alright you guys, I really hope that you guys like this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. And let me know what you guys want to see next down below in the comment section. Don't forget to check out my info section. I have a bunch of information in there. As well as every single product that I used in this video. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye! I'm going to be showing you how to create this deep, dark, what am I calling this?